Hi, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this foldable sawhorse, otherwise known as a sawbuck, and this is to help us cut all of our firewood this year. And stay tuned at the end of the video, and I'm going to tell you guys what is a sawbuck and how we use this. Let's get started. Here I'm cutting everything to length using a speed square and a circular saw. For this sawhorse, I'm using two by fours, bolts, and screws. Next, I'm measuring all the two by fours to see where the I'm gonna put the hole uh, for the bolts. I'm using untreated pine, uh, and I may uh, put some maybe Thompson's water seal on this uh, to make it last a little bit longer, but you can also use treated two by fours. Now I just tighten the screws by hand. I uh, try not to make it too tight because you still want the legs a little bit movable. Now you can make this saw horse as tall as you want it and also as long as you want it. Now this sawhorse is not a new concept. It, it, this type of sawhorse, um, also known as a sawbuck, has been around for years and years and years. But I like how it's simple, and when not in use, we could fold it and put it away. After using this sawbuck for a few weeks now, I think we really like it. Uh, it makes it easier to chop the firewood because it holds it in place and it's kind of elevated so we're not having to bend over too much and we could uh, use the numerous tools to chop our firewood. And that's it. I'm really happy how this turned out. So a sawbuck is just another form of a sawhorse. You could cut wood on the sawbuck uh, using a handsaw, a sawzaw, and a chainsaw. According to the Webster's Dictionary, uh, the first known word of the use sawhorse was in the 1700s. But you can find plans of the sawbuck on our Sow the Land Patreon member area and I will leave a link down to that down in the show notes. So other things that we've built this year is wood storage racks to hold all our firewood. Uh, we've built this sawhorse or sawbuck and uh, you know this continues our quest on to finding out what works best for us uh, for our firewood and how to cut it properly. But again, I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Jason from Southern Land. If you not have yet, hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys next time.